Hello World Bros. If you guys have been watching the channel for the past couple of weeks, I'm sure you've seen my co-star, Red Ninja, acting a little strange. What? Red? I told you not to call me. Red, we're in the middle of a game, bro! Oh, sorry, dude. Um... You know, you have an iPhone, you can turn off your notifications. <laughs> I, I do, I just... There's some calls you need to take, you know what I mean? Like, it's... This is frustrating. I'll be back again. Man! I don't know what you want me to say that, that to let you know that I'm not I'm not I'm not messing with you dude like we're we're gaming we're we're having fun That's okay I'll run out a couple more questions cuz I'm going to actually meet up with Dane to do some training soon Red I'm going to check on these laptops just get get out of here man Were you just filming me over there? I know you're not going to I know you're not gonna tell anybody, man, but I, I specifically asked you to run this way. I didn't want you to... You shouldn't have seen that. Listen to me, dude! I, you're not... You're, I swear! You're just not... You are not listening to a word I'm saying, bro! Ever since I started working with him, there's been a lot of strange occurrences and weird things happening in my life. I don't know if it has anything to do with my past and where I came from, or his past and where he came from. I mean... Take a look at his YouTube channel. He has basically zero uploads. And I'm sure he's been on YouTube for a long time. So what happened to all his videos? Is he trying to hide something from me? Is there something from his past? And although he's been a great partner, I just feel like I'm tired with all this suspicion. I put him through a vibe check. I put him through a lie detector test, even challenges for friendship. Man, you did a you good job. That. Wow. Yes. Good yes. job. Yes, even, oh. That's definitely one of the best illustrations of what it's like to be a part of a team. There's just this feeling that I have, like, if things can get way worse than it is already now. From having to fight this guy named Specs. <laughs> to dealing with this mysterious lady who communicates over a drone. And the gravity of the situation that you are in. Yes. We, we, we understand, absolutely. Who are you? Why this is, is your coming? last and final warning. You do not want to see me come back. Come on! Care of this, just go to the truck and I will meet you guys there, I promise. You guys gotta get out what of here. What did right you now. say? You, what did you, you guys, say to that? It, it doesn't matter right now. You guys, I'm telling you, just go to the truck right now. We can look for the camera guy later, but right now you guys gotta go. Where is that napkin? It's probably in my jeans or something. Sorry, I can't find the napkin now, but, but Red wrote on this napkin, and I quote, she's listening. So what? It's it's the mysterious drone lady who's listening? Well, maybe she's listening to this. I don't care about you. All I care about is just being a good old regular YouTuber, doing fun challenges and making videos with my friends. But it does lead me to believe that if I want to be completely free from all this sketchiness, I probably need to boot Red Ninja off of my channel. Now, this is big news. And I don't want to be making this decision alone. Down in the comments below, I'm going to pin something right there. And you tell me, you comment down below to cast your vote. Should I keep Red Ninja on the channel? It's a pretty heavy situation. Even a lot of you guys who started watching my channel because Red Ninja joined me. It, I feel like I would be letting you guys down. But there's so many pieces of evidence that are out there on this channel that show that Red Ninja has something more to all of his secrets. I just don't know what gives. What is his connection with the mysterious drone lady? Does he have any other behind the scenes involvement with Specs? Is there an ultimate plan that involves me? Doing something to me? Uh... This is too heavy to handle by myself. Thank you, Rogue Bros and Rogue Gals, so much for sticking around and, and tell me what you guys think and sounding out in the comments and checking out the live streams because I'm pretty sure all of you guys feel the same way that I do about Red Ninja right now. Man, this is super heavy stuff. If there's anybody that could help me talk through this and give me a better idea, it's probably Dane. Yeah. Y'all, what up, dude? Get ready. I'm picking you up. I gotta vent. A few moments later. I think I literally need to get rid of Red Ninja from my channel, Dane. That's big news, okay? Yeah, you know how we did that lie detector test on him and stuff? Yeah. Do you remember? I mean, this 
Bro, why are you carrying that note? I feel like, dude, get that thing out of here. They, so, I don't know who he's referring to. I think a lot of these problems exist just because I keep them in my friend group. I'm starting to see the same. I mean, who else is bringing sus activity around you? Not me. Nah, nah, you, you're good. But Red, on the other hand, has had a bad history of it. It all started when I met Red Ninja a while ago. He's actually the reason why I'm able to do YouTube right now. He handles a lot of the day-to-day. -day. He edits a lot of the videos too. Who is this guy? And so now, we have that YouTube channel together, as I'm sure you're well aware of, my friend. Yeah, the gaming is pretty cool, actually. I, I might like to get into that. Yeah, you absolutely should. Because you know what? I think I need to find a replacement. I play a little Call of Duty, a little Rocket League. Yeah, well, th this is definitely the reason why we haven't been chilling at the house too much. It's too sketchy. Well, I don't know. This could even just be BS. Anyways, let's go get some brekkie at Eggwork. Please, yes, let's do that. The joint. Look at that. Love it. Not a sponsor. Water, please. Thank you. Uh, water, please. Thank you. What were you saying earlier in the truck about Red? I'm a little concerned. Okay. Yeah. I was just doing gaming with Red. We were playing a lot of Roblox. Then I started talking about past stuff, like with Regina. Uh, I tried to tell him about skull and crossbones again and do the whole signature thing. And then at that moment, I started having internet issues. So this video and thumbnail here. That's the first occurrence of weird happenings with Red. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. someone was messing with my internet or something, or, or my uh, electric box, I don't know. But then, that's the first occurrence of anything weird, because I went down there, and I was filming myself, and there was somebody chilling in the backyard. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, dude. And, and that was the start of it. So I just already knew, okay, maybe it could be a crazy fan or something. I thought maybe I'd just be chill about it. And then the next time I gamed with Red, we were gaming. Then I heard somebody pounding on the garage. Before we even finished recording, I went down there, opened up the garage, didn't see anybody there. The only thing that was left there, mysterious package. It was an Amazon box, but I didn't order anything. That's always sus. You should never open up packages that you don't know where it came from. Something like that. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember the first box. I get it mixed up with all the other boxes. Okay, because then, that's when I called you and Red the little train thingy is <laughs> my favorite part about this place. Then before I opened that box, that's when I called you and Red over, and you guys met for the first time. Remember that? Yep. Right off the bat. Didn't you already think that there, were, there was some suspicion with this dude? I mean, yeah, there was a guy in the background of your video. Like, I'm not saying that's Red for sure, but who else would it be? And my history's clear now, okay? We cleared that up. Yeah, we did, actually. When we're doing challenges at the park and stuff too, a mysterious person started approaching and getting closer, right? After months of no battle royale training, uh, all of a sudden we gotta fight some guy again, right? And uh, I mean, you, you guys were there, you saw it. And I think my YouTube life just hasn't been the same since. I thought I could get away with just playing games all day and chilling and, and have a clean slate to start over again. But then, uh, Look, we're, then now we're fighting bad guys again. And then and not too long after, another mysterious person that we had to fight off when we were filming with the girls that time on our channel, bro. I'll have one country Benny. Um, can I do the chili bowl, please? Thank you. Man, this hits. Not as hard as Specs does. Remember, we had to fight him on occasion a couple of times. Yeah, I remember Specs and how hard he hits. Bringing all these problems from your channel into our channel. But he didn't stand a chance anyways. We got him. So, uh, we sort of, he. Well, it turns out that he's, I think he's pretty innocent. He's just doing this to make money. There's someone else who's calling the shots. And you know who I think that is? Who? Whoever's behind this drone. She's got that mysterious voice. You know, remember the video where we were being followed in the forest by this on the, drone? On the mountain, it like it flew down. Right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, we were looking for that missing camera guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was it. So, um, I think she's the one that's calling the shots. And she probably has some mm. kind of work relationship with Red. 
Okay, because yeah, I mean, I doubt you're gonna go question specs then. I doubt that dude knows anything. Maybe not. Okay. And I don't know if we're ever gonna see that other guy that we fought too. It does seem like bad guys or whatever have been like popping up randomly, like they have been hired. That's why I think if I just get rid of who I think is making it happen, then my life will be A-OK -okay again. So I'm thinking about asking my viewers if I should vote red off the channel. Man, that is a, uh, that's a big decision right there. Really? I mean, yeah, dude. You've even said it. Red's been on YouTube forever. Like, the dude's been around a while. I don't know if you can just pull a move on him that easily. It's, uh, could be a little dangerous. Yeah, it could be dangerous. I mean, what's more dangerous? Staying as his friend and letting this happen? Okay, you're right, yeah. There are only tough decisions, and you gotta make one. Okay, if I do get rid of him, it will be harder to upload twice a week, but then also, I could focus more on the Mad Channel for Melvin and Dane. Hey, I mean, hey, that's, I'm, I'm always down with that. I've been, I've been gaming a little more. I would love that, as long as people from your other channel aren't gonna be attacking and invading and whatever else is going on. That's true. Then I probably do have to vote him off. Man, oh, this is, yeah, actually, it's quite a tough conversation to have. Bro, that was some really good food, bro. It was. That chili was fire. Like, literally, it was super spicy. You got the bill, or is it me? It's on me? It's on you. Um, it's your video. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk. Bro, I got the mints. I think these mints, probably the highest tier kind of mints. I'm used to the red ones with the white stripes. I'm a little... Yeah, so mm. you never tried these? I haven't actually. It's mint chocolate. Well, yeah, I got some energy. Let's go work out, bro. Ooh. I mean, I don't want to be too harsh. How so? Kicking him off my channel just because of a suspicion that I'm having. It's pretty creative, I guess. And he likes the same old comedy movies that I like. Which is pretty important. Uh -huh. I kick him off the channel. Okay. Would that make me look like a bad friend? Uh -huh. Would you be worried that I would kick you off the channel? I'm. I mean, there's a lot of circumstances involved with that. I gotta consider them first. Maybe. I mean, you might be. I don't know. Ah, dude. That's a tough one, okay? I don't know. There's lots of people that have been chasing you, but he's your friend. You have to make that decision. I'll then make my judgment after. What a day. A long day that's been spent trying to figure out the future of this channel. Red Ninja and I have shared a lot of good times. It's blind mode! What is blind mode? Cover your eyes! How are we supposed to play the game in blind mode? I don't understand. I picked up something. I swear I heard it. I want to look so badly! I don't know if I'm running into a wall or not. I mean, even the stuff that didn't make it onto film. Like just vibing, talking about the, the funny movies we enjoyed. Even how Dane got along pretty nicely with Red Ninja. It's not a common thing to see Dane get along with new people. But with all the stuff that's been happening, from him answering phone calls during streams, to being able to talk to the mysterious drone lady and, and get her attention and shoo her away, to him not truthfully answering any of the lie detector questions, to him using social manipulation tricks in order to pass the vibe check of my friend. I think overall, Red's a pretty nice guy. You know, I think a lot of people get the wrong idea. For every good thing that Red has done, there's been two things that are as suspicious or even more suspicious. Crazy theory, but what if the person messing with you is Red? No way! It makes sense in my head. And so right now, I think I might leave this up to you guys. So if you haven't already, in the comments down below, let me know. Do I keep Red Ninja on this channel? In a week from today, I will go look at the comments and make my decision based on that. Because I just want to be a normal YouTuber again. I don't want to have to fight bad guys to make a living. So thank you for hearing me out. I know y'all been hearing me rant. But this is something that I know needs the help of all the row bros and row gals that are out there. So with that, I ask you guys to comment down below with your hearts and your minds, and most importantly, your thumbs. You guys have a week to vote. And then I'm gonna show Red Ninja the votes and ultimately tell him his fate, if he will still be on this channel or, or not. <laughs>